Today, we're going to be checking out the Hell Melter from Electro Harmonics. Electro Harmonic surprised everybody and came out with their own version of the famous HM2. So of course I had to end up demoing it. I mean, they're one of the oldest pedal companies. Uh, of course their tubes wouldn't be a thing right now if it weren't really for Electro Harmonics in a lot of ways. And so I was excited to see what they did. Plus the graphic on this thing and the box is pretty sick. Although the name is kind of cringe, but I get it. They're trying to find something that worked with HM and appeal to like death metal sensibilities, so I get it. And I was stoked. I was happy to see a bunch of these cool, more boutique features that we've been seeing in like, you know, uh, modified HM2 style pedals over the past while, uh, especially that uh, dedicated mid range control and mid range sweep. So you could really dial in where you had that nasal mid range because the magic in a Swedish chainsaw sound is that really nasal grinding mid-range. And of course, it doesn't just have that updated mid-range control. It's got a dedicated boost that you can control internally for how much boost you're getting. Uh, you know, dry and wet controls, which is definitely really good because my preferred way to use an HM style to pedal is into an amplifier that's already got distortion and you just kind of blend it on there to get as much of that nasal nastiness as you want, uh, but not too much. Like how much works for a mix, how much works to make everything sound nasty and distorted and gross and death metally without it being uh, too much and just either you can't hear what is being played at all or it's just dominating the mix. So it's nice to have that feature as well. Built in noise gate and it's also got a burn mode, which is kind of interesting uh, to my ears. It kind of uh, harmonically saturates the top and low and kind of makes it wider sounding, definitely adds more distortion. Uh, I don't like to gain stack it with that as much, but it is a better use for it as a traditional distortion pedal into a clean channel. So with all that being said about its features, I was actually kind of underwhelmed, unfortunately. Um, I thought I would end up digging this a lot more than I did, especially with that mid-range control and having the built-in boost, but I don't know, it, like the level wasn't there for me, like it didn't have enough volume output so I could really slam into my amplifier, especially if I'm kind of using it as like an EQ boost blend kind of thing like I like to use. It just didn't have enough volume for me and there was something about the distortion and like the tone stack with it. I just don't feel it's quite right. Don't get me wrong, it gets to the Swedish Chainsaw sound. You'll hear that in the video, but it's just not... I don't know, it's just not hitting right for me exactly. But I don't want to poison the well, really. You could end up loving it, thinking this thing sounds awesome and being like, what are you talking about? That thing sounds rad. Swedish Chainsaw all day. Uh, and that's totally valid. It just wasn't hitting quite um, right for me. It wasn't scratching that itch exactly. But that's, that's enough talking about the pedal. Let's actually hear this inside and outside of a mix. Uh, I'm going to gain stack this with about a 50-50 dry wet blend onto my Engel Savage Mark II. And then we're gonna have that going into my Two Notes Captor X with a DV77 and a VM1265 IR blend. And we'll hear it outside of a mix on that same setup. And then we'll also hear it as a traditional distortion pedal into the clean channel of the Engel Savage as well. Let's check it out.
So no lie, I was able to get some pretty sick tones for the in-mix and out-of-mix, as you were able to hear. Although I do feel like, again, it was kind of lacking as a distortion. Like, I wasn't super loving it as a distortion pedal. The burn mode makes it better. Definitely needs the boost. Um, I just, I feel like it's something in the EQ or the gain or something. It's just not, it's not hidden right, and I don't know what that is. But I'd be curious to know what your thoughts on this are. If you really dug it or want to give this a shot or... Uh, if you're not digging it, maybe why you're not digging it, maybe I can it can help me figure out why I, I'm not really uh, feeling at home with it. But anyway, I'm going to have a link down to this below so you can check this out from Electro Harmonics. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay metal.